The British High Commissioner Jane Marriott first ever visit to Ajir County saw High inspect several key projects being implemented by DFID and UK Ed in the county. The Commissioner traversed many parts of Ajir town during her stay, visiting AIC Hospital, Furaha Primary School, the Border Patrol Unit Camp and the ICT Centre in Ajir town. The High Commissioner and High Entourage first met with the County Commissioner before later addressing a joint press with Ajir's Governor Mohamed Abdi. The two leaders prioritised areas of concern including security, education, promotion of maternal health and local economic development. Uh, I think the thing that perhaps people least know about the UK here is that for the last two years and for the next three years, um, we have been supporting 20,000 families with a cash payment through the hunger safety um, uh, net, the hunger, hunger safety net program. Um, and each of those 20,000 families gets 5,700 shillings a month um, which it doesn't come with a UK stamp on it, but that is coming uh, from the UK, from the UK taxpayer, as part of our commitment to Kenya. The British High Commissioner also reiterated her government's commitment to the promotion of quality education in Wajir County. The UK has been working uh, here in Wajir since 2014, doing educational support uh, programs. We've supported nearly 60,000 learners, about 60,000 people who have got a school education as a result of our partnership that they would not otherwise have got. We asked the governor, seemingly addressing Marta security, talked at length at how lack of security is impacting the education sector in the county and called on the British government intervention for help. Uh, right now, as a result of Shabab killing uh, teachers, non-local teachers, so many of them left us. Right now we have a serious shortage of teachers. The local teachers are not enough to teach our children. And uh, non-locals uh, non cannot come back. In fact, the Teacher Service Commission transferred all of them because of the insecurity. Governor Abdi called on the UK Embassy and Corporate to extend a helping hand to the people of Ojiru by taking advantage of the surplus sunlight in plenty and advancing their green economy, in thus helping Ojirans escape the perennial ghosts of power outages. There is no light in the whole town. The whole town, there is no electricity. Because our electricity is uh, driven by diesel engines, which keep on breaking. I mean, the machines keep on breaking. And they are as old as, I don't know, this county. So we have that problem. But if only we make use of the energy provided by the wind and sun here, that should have been history. He also, whilst acknowledging the UK's administration input and support on Marta's devolution in the country, the governor called on the British government representative to put more support directly to the counties since most developmental work lies within the counties. Your Excellency, you have been supporting national government for the last six years. We want you now to switch from national government to the county government. This is where development is taking place. Sulman Abdikadir, Kalsen Media, Ojia County.